When I check the walkthrough, it appears that there's actually a lot I have to do beforehand. Uh, whoops. And apparently there's a lot of stuff I could have collected as Young Link. Um, I don't know if I could do that now since I'm kind of a, a teenager, I assume, here. But since it's occurring at time, I'm going to assume that I can travel back in time after a certain point in the game, so... Yeah. Who knows? Maybe all hope is lost. Um, basically, it was just a bunch of, like, uh, golden sc uh, skull atulla. I always say skatilla. I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but skull atulla uh, points or whatever. These things are creepy as hell. Um, oh, no. Stay away from me. Alright, uh... Yeah, it's this way? Yes, but uh, anyways, um, so there's a bunch of stuff I guess I can't do since I'm an adult, but there is one thing I can do, and that's sell uh, all the masks. Because you see, I still have this one, and then I gotta get the mask of truth. Um, Shit, though, I, I don't think I can do that now. Because, uh, yeah, see? Because of that. I think the Happy Mask Shop is closed, so I might not be able to actually do this, guys. Um. You know what? Let's double check. I mean, it was in the market, I know that, but, uh. Let's check the castle. Oh, I guess we had to come here. Wow. Uh, Ganondorf really outdone himself, didn't he? Damn. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I don't think I'm supposed to go over here yet, but, uh, shall we investigate, Link? Well, damn, guys, I don't think I can even do- yeah, I can't. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess I can't even do the mask quest, so, um... Shit, there's, like, an item I need, though, to beat the, uh, bulls. Oh, I could use my bombs. That's good. Uh, well. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, wow. I just wasted a bomb. <laughs> Interesting. Should we believe what Sheik said and go... Yeah, we'll go there. I just wanted to investigate. Well, this clearly has some significance here. Huh. Dang, I think I messed up, guys. But, you know, it's not like... It's not like the game made it obvious to do all these, like, side quests. There's a Skatilla here. Oh. I can't even use my boomerang. You know, I have a feeling... I have a feeling there's... I, I'm going to learn how to revert back and forth between ages. That just makes sense to me. Yeah. So, my theory is, I won't be able to do these quests now, but I'll probably be able to do them later. Um, which sucks, because from the sounds of it, it was probably a good idea to get that done over with now, but considering I think the Mask of Truth I need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I kill these things? No, I don't think I can. Actually, wait. Maybe fire I can. <sighs> well, I guess I'll go back to uh, Kikiriko. Uh, Kikiriko Village. Um, one thing I can do though is get Epona. Although, um, no. There we go.
There we go. Just so we don't have to deal with the uh, dim monsters. Plus, I have to kind of come in here in broad daylight, so. Huh. Well, sorry guys, I kind of screwed the pooch, I guess, on all those uh, side quests. Oops. Oh, well, uh, what's her face? What's his face? They're gonna be older. Let's see if we can uh, find her first. Uh, <gasps> Ellen! You're a pretty lady. Oh, the visitor. It's been a long time since we've had a visitor here. Where'd you come from? Since Gandorf came, people in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. If I disobey Mr. Ingo, he'll treat the horses so badly. So, there's nothing I can do. Well, little Missy, we'll see about that. You, you, uh, you have grown very well, and you have the uh, the Hyrulean ears going on. You sure you're not like a descendant of like Zelda or something, or like a, your sibling? Seriously, you got the ears. Although actually, you're not the only uh, person with the ears like that. Never mind. Okay, Link, that's not how you open a door. Let me... Yeah, there we go. Just my mic there. Alright, well, let's go talk to Mr. Ingo. If I remember correctly, he was not too happy about how, uh... Uh, uh Talon or whatever ran things. Can I even... Okay, I still can go up here. Okay, place your bets, so The room has not changed at all. Well, he just casually, you know, strolls right on in, you know. Uh, he doesn't give a fuck about trespassing. Oh, yeah, you jump on our bed, girl. Yeah. Got your dirty, like, mud prints all over her bed. No respect whatsoever. I'm really just assuming that this is her bedroom, though. Could be, like, everyone's bedroom, considering they're probably, like, dirt poor. I don't know, you would think you'd make a decent living off of, uh, you know, uh, a stable. Horses are kind of a big deal. More commodity, I would think. Hello, sir. Apparently I need to talk to you. There are some people in the, uh... Is it Kikariko? I am never gonna pronounce these words correctly. Spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... Don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon is weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I'll raise a fine horse and will win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Yeah? Uh... Yeah, I probably should. Seems easy enough. Oh... Hmm...
That a girl. Yeah! Way to go, Epona! I think I just earned, like, all the money I spent. Yeah, it's like 10 rupees. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh! guys. Well, I'm racing for Ebona now. Alright. Come on, we can do this. Oh, he's gonna be a little cheater. Oh, boy. Come on, Ebona. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. I can't lose you, Ebona. <laughs> Don't mess with the best, sucker. Yeah, if the great gander round up this humiliation. Hey, you, have another race. If you win, you can keep the horse. Aw, oh, I have to race you again? What? <sighs> Alright, come on, Link. No! He's a cheater! Shit! Okay, come on! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't lose, I can't lose, I can't lose, I can't lose, I can't lose! Wait, did I win? I don't... Did I win? Ow. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Great. The dude cheated. You guys saw it. He kept cutting in front of me. Asshole. Oh, hey. I remember that hole. <laughs> I remember that holes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about the time. Thank you. Ugh. Could just wait for the grass to regrow here. Well, this is kind of sad. Like, I know it's nighttime, but I have a feeling this will just, uh, abandon as well. You gotta be kidding me, no rupees? What? Not cool, man. Please, just, yeah, I know, you want the Mask of Truth, I don't have it yet. Remember you guys from, uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know I can do that. I remember you guys from uh, the Hyrule Market. I tell you, I saw him. I saw the ghostly figure of Dempe the Gravekeeper slink, uh, sinking into the, his grave. It looked kind of like he was hiding some kind of treasure. I'm sure he was. What do you gotta say, sir? Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Look at this guy. Ever since he escaped from Hyrule Castle Town, he's become even more timid. Well. I'd say you're both are pretty timid, considering you can't stop- you, like, you can't keep still. Like, period. Kinda like, got this finicky dance going on. Okay, plants, I'm happy you're giving me, like, mana potions, but I need rupees. Badly. Or just bad. Um... Whoa! Oh my God! You're 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 Melon's dad. Melon's doing all right. Mumble mumble. Sorry to make you worry. 
Dude, you just abandoned your daughter or some douchebag. Who is obviously abusing her, even though she says, Oh no, he's hurting the horses, so I gotta obey him. Nearly subtly implying uh, harassment and abuse. Not a good father. Hello, madam. He's always just lazing around, morning, noon, and night. He's an awfully carefree guy doing such hard times. Yeah, no joke. Whoa. All people have hardships in their past that they would rather no one found out about. Yeah, no joke. Look at that bearded man sleeping over there. I bet even someone like him ha has had his share of troubles in the past. Well, considering I'm pretty sure this dude was like an alcoholic or something. Or maybe he just overworked himself, but either way. Neglected his daughter pretty much his entire life. Not necessarily a uh, father of the year here. You haven't aged a bit. I brought a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Late raisers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Especially when it wakes up a hev very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You... You look like you're good at handling... Uh, oh god, don't bring that up, lady. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check it out if, uh, check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Yes, because I'm assuming this is gonna wake up, uh... Uh... Talon. Yeah. <laughs> Nya, 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 nya. You know, you're the second lady just randomly handed me an egg. No reason whatsoever. I, I, I don't know why you people insist on giving me your livestock. Considering I'm like a sword-wielding man in like a leotard. That that doesn't concern you at all? Madam, I can crush this egg with my sword. You know, just one careless mistake and it's dead. You know, when I was like a little kid, it was easy to rake in the cash from all these bushes. Now now they're now they choose to be stingy on me. And nobody's got their pots anymore. What the hell? Everybody's being like stingy at their pockets. It sucks, man. Yeah, Ganondorf made everything a tough economy. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey, hold on a second. Huh. You are immune to fire. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Oh, come on out. Don't hide from me. Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> Oh my god, hold on. Ghost, I have to capture you. Okay. And now... And now I capture you. Ah, crap. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant to do. You dummy. No, you dummy. You defeated Poe the ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? Oh, I was supposed to, uh... I was supposed to talk to it, I guess. Weird. Yeah, I got a bow for you. Alright, check this out, bro. Bro. Oh, you brought a bow today. Hmm. Hmm. This is a normal bow. Here are your ten rupees. Take them. Heh. <laughs> 
Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Ten rupees? Dude. I mean, it wasn't that hard, I'll be honest, but ten frickin' rupees? I'm breaking all your pots and protests. like this and basically I did it oh yeah yes you pooners mine bitch yeah, what's up with that horse daddy pooner how did you tame that wild horse right under my nose I was gonna present that horse to the great Ganondorf but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! <sighs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse to you. Wow. Really? You're kind of like a big cheater. I'm kind of surprised, but okay. I could just cut you like in half, so, you know. No skin off my nose. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Now we have to jump the fence. Alright, let's give this guy a run for his money, Pona. We got this. Oh, come on, man. You took the wind out of my sails. I was trying to be all dramatic and... Sh yeah, sh yeah, shut up. Shut up, dude. I don't care. The hell? <laughs> uh, holy shit, I have an army of cuckoos. But it's like, why am I pretty spy? Why would like the cuckoos not like peck his eyeballs out or something? Okay. Sad. How the hell can you not jump that? Oh my god, this is badass. <gasps> Dude! I could destroy bushes with, like, Ebona? And collect it? What? what? Dude, this is awesome. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna end this episode here with uh, me riding off into the sunset here. Um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry this episode was kind of not uh, as fun to watch because, um, you know, I didn't really do much other than get the horse and uh, all that stuff, and I kind of had, had to keep my voice down somewhat because uh, my boyfriend is sleeping and everything um, but uh, yeah I don't know I, I guess I'm not feeling very talkative right now 
Um, but thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time.